Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. This is SJ Poor out in the brewery. Little face brewing. Yeah, this is just water. It's a 25 ounce bottle that uh, I'm going to try and drink down during this video, along with a beer. It's Wednesday. It's going to be uh, a cheat day, sort of, for me. And I'll explain that in a minute. Let's get a beer. I'm going to have a cheap beer for homebrew Wednesday. It's going to be one worth it. This is my barley wine. 10% goodness. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's good. That is a fun beer. It's a big beer to have on tap. So, uh, I started this video off probably a little bit weird with the old water, talking about drinking water, wanting to drink this while we go through the video. I got to lose some weight. So, I am exercising. I've exercised every day this week. And, uh, you know, I actually feel pretty good today. <laughs> I, I will have to admit, I actually feel pretty good right now. Um, I'll just be—I'll just be honest. I had weighed myself. I uh, went to the doctor's a couple weeks ago and uh, uh, stepped on, made the mistake of stepping on the scale. I hadn't been feeling good anyway, so. The reading that uh, was on that scale was not something that I ever thought that I'd ever reach. Way too much. So uh, I decided I, I, I put together this plan. Um, and what I, what I do now is I do a weigh-in every Thursday. Last Thursday was my first weigh-in. And uh, that weigh-in was 296. That's a lot of weight to be carrying around. And if you saw the belly when I was getting my beer, you know, it's quite obvious. But I also, I don't want to stop drinking beer or stop making beer or any of that. So I've got to exercise in order to continue this hobby. The days of coming home and just sitting on my ass, they've got to end. I, I need to stay busy. I'm 57 years old, 296 pounds last Thursday. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, not good. Not good at all. So uh, that's the reason for the water. And uh, one of the things that I've been doing is drinking lots of water. Like, I'm doing at least 160 ounces a day. And um, anybody that's going through this, that's hard to do. That's a lot of water. Um, <laughs> and I'm pretty much cutting out beer through the week, except for Wednesdays when I do a homebrew Wednesday. And then... Uh, Friday and the weekend, it's game on. It's going to be freedom, whatever I decide to do. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will also exercise. Uh, but Saturday and Sunday, if I happen to exercise, it's because I want to. You know, and I may. I may go for a walk. I mean, actually, I feel pretty good after tonight's walk. And uh, I do a brisk walk around here. It's about, it's a mile and a half. I'm going to add a little bit more to it because I want to hit that two-mile two, two mile, 
uh, walk and uh, this is all hills all hills here so yeah so that's what I'm doing I want to try and get a little bit healthier and brew and drink beer at the same time go figure right you can do it you can do it so what has went on over the last um, over the last week well, I've got the uh, juice box back here in Fermenter. I did throw the uh, dry hops in that. That will, I'll probably cold crash that rascal uh, this weekend. There's no real reason to, you know, let that thing set much longer. I mean, it's it's done. It's She's completo. So uh, that beer will be cold crashed. I might turn that on. Oh, maybe Thursday night so that I can keg it over the weekend and get her upstairs in the, uh, in the charging keyser. So that was two weeks ago that we brewed that. I showed that video, um, this, this past, yeah, it was two weeks ago. It's like, where is time gone? <laughs> it's been crazy. This past weekend was busy. Um, I don't remember what all I did now that I'm sitting here, but anyways, uh, so I got that going. I do want to get a cream ale, a double batch of a cream ale going, put in the big fermenter over here. And then I think I'm going to do a, um, a porter, a porter or a stout to put into the, the little one, um, because the charging keys are empty upstairs. So uh, Larry and Andy helped me finish off some kegs to put some fresh kegs on. Thank you guys for doing it. That was, that was, that was a good deal. I needed to do that. So um, it's good to have an outlet, to have friends over and drink up your beers. It works out bester that way. What else? Want to do that? Want to do that? Oh, we did a, uh, on Sunday, I ran over up to Dover and uh, did a podcast with our club, SCABS, Southern County Amateur Brewer Society, with uh, Central PA Pours, uh, CPP, and uh, that was a blast. Uh, they ran longer than they have on any podcast. It'll be aired, um, over St. Patty's Day. You know, it's going to be their, their episode for St. Patty's Day. Um, here's their, here's their, uh, what their, their, their YouTube, my goodness. This is what their YouTube channel looks like. So that's their YouTube channel. I don't know how to put links in here to be able to go to it, but I'll I'll make sure I, I should be able to put a link in the description below. These guys are a great group of guys. Um, it was a blast doing that podcast with them. Um, I love doing anything with our local club. Our local club is they're outstanding. You know, they're they're great brewers and they're great friends. They just are great people all around. So we did that, and uh, oh, the other thing that uh, they said, they said that they never had this many beers out on the table at one time. And I told them, I was like, well, we're home brewers. Home brewers bring beer. <laughs> Check this out. Ow. Steve, where's your cooler? That's the little red one. Over here? Yep. Wait, I set it over there with the rest of them. Okay. Oh, I'm going to come this way. More. No, More. <laughs> of course, I got to get some video of you guys. This is behind the scenes. Now, that's the one. Yeah, this one you went into. Okay, so yeah. if you could pass those down. Whose is this one? That's Steve's. Uh, that's mine. Yep. Okay. That's a black IPA. Okay. Okay. 
Follows it with Hendrix's. Yeah, you should ask I, to I do it with her. She's really great. One. That's why I, I need to get a teaser just to say that was right. some of the table where we were setting and uh, and some of the beers that were out and and the whole nine yards. It was a really cool setup. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. What a good time. So pay attention. If you're not subscribed to Central PA Pours, go there and sub subscribe to them now. They're, they, uh, they're up and coming, and uh, they, they're going to do a lot of good things for South Central Pennsylvania. Or just Central Pennsylvania, or just Pennsylvania, however it works. Um, so, yeah, this is a good group of guys. Um, what else we got going on? I wanted to get a brew day going. Oh, I built another collar for the keys are up in the garage excuse me i did that on saturday uh, or yeah it was saturday i did that on saturday that's what i did this weekend i built that collar and uh, that turned out really good i'm super happy with that um here's a quick picture of it all right there she is all functional Got the gas line hooked up, got the uh, manifold in, got my bottle down there. Great thing that I did, awesome. When I was trying to pull the sensor out of that bottle, didn't I cut that wire right in half? <sighs> but I managed to actually hook her back up, and uh, yeah, she's working. <laughs> I fixed it. There we go. Oh, yeah. A little do had get some heat in here through the bigger propane bottle. <sighs> Ready to charge some kegs. So, yeah, that turned out really good. It's a smaller keyser. Um... It'll hold, I think I can get five in there total. What I do, what I've been doing with these collars, I still have to fix my one in the, in the bar in the house. I'm actually thinking about just doing a whole new collar on that one. Um, I was actually so happy with the way that one turned out that I am seriously thinking about doing a whole new collar. But um, that collar has no holes in it for, for taps. It's not intended for taps. That is strictly intended for charging beers. Um, that way I have a place to go. We can, if I brew ahead, you know, like I intend to, like I normally do, um, I want to get that thing full. And then beers can just sit up there and charge naturally, you know, um, well, not naturally, but under CO2. I don't have to push them. And uh, they'll be ready to go on tap down here or in, in, the, in, in, in the bar either way. So that's the intention of that. Turned out pretty good. Super happy with it. Um, all scrap wood, pallet wood, and uh, pallet and crates. I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wood hoarder. You know, if I find good wood, <laughs> yeah. if I find good wood, I grab it. All right, that didn't sound any better. And I use it. So, uh, yeah, it's been a busy week. Definitely been a busy week. This is probably a longer Homebrew Wednesday video than I've done in a while, but hey, it is what it is, right? There's a lot of upcoming things I'm looking forward to. Um, again, more brewing down here. It was a lot of fun brewing with Larry and Andy. Um, I got a bunch of kegs to clean. We blew out these four kegs that I have sitting here next to me. Uh, while they were up, which was a lot of fun. And we drank a lot of whiskey and moonshine. We did. I tell you what. I tell you what. The other upside to not drinking as much is when you do, it means something. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I got some other things in the works. Um, I got, uh, 
another possible podcast that I'll be doing. So uh, stay tuned for that. There were some beers that I sent out to some friends and I uh, got some uh, some feedback and they want to talk about it. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Looking forward to that. And uh, I'm looking forward to some weight loss. You know, I'd love to get back to being, uh, I don't mind being a big SJ, but I don't like being a fat SJ. I like being a big boy, right? So my plan is I need to drop a whole bunch of pounds. And then I'm going to start, uh, once I drop down to a comfortable weight, um, I plan on then doing some strength training um, and try and build some strength back up. So, you know, ah, well, yeah, I look a little bit better in my sleeveless shirts, huh? <laughs> Vanity? Sure. Yeah, if that's what you want to call it. I just want to be a little bit healthier. And I still want to be able to enjoy all this stuff because uh, one of the things that I've been seeing is, is is people start going down that road and then they get out of the hobby and all that. And I don't want to be one of those people. I enjoy this. I love this brewery. I love what I do down here and I love the results of it. And I don't want to change that. I want to be able to continue to do that. So... While I'm brewing beer, I need to work on the body as well. Just that simple. Uh, there might be some new stuff coming up. Uh, you might start seeing some videos of the Whiskey Roundtable. And uh, I have some friends that are in that. That's kind of a little private group we got going that I would like to turn public. Uh, whiskey is a... Uh, Ooh, it's good. It's very good. And I'd like to talk about it some. And maybe some people would like to hear us talk about it. So I got some friends that be involved in that as well. You know what? I got to get out of here. Let me see if we can finish off this 25 ounces of water. Very much in there. It's easier in this damn straw. I'm going to take the straw off. I don't like it. I don't like it. <sighs> this is SJ Poor, Little Face Bruin. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. Brew beer. Get healthy. Brew beer. Drink beer. Cheers.